that to be fair. I haven't actually got any makeup on, which is amazing because I know this blood is everywhere, but this light just makes it a whole lot better. So I chose not to. And speaking of makeup, um, today's video is about makeup, especially eye makeup, more exact eyeshadow. And I did say in my last Four Women Friend video that I put up about makeup, I did say I would do like my eyeshadow journey, so I'm gonna do it now. I first started really wearing makeup in the last years of primary school, so I was about year six, I was 10 or 11, and I just wore mascara, and I'm pretty sure it was like this one. It doesn't make much difference, but I wanted to. And then as I got to comp um, in seven, which is like 11, 12, um, I started getting into like eyeshadows as in the bright colours. So I first got into like eyeshadows around mid year seven. So about January, February-ish I would say. And um, I did have eyeshadows before, like I had like little, like girly little um, kind of princess themed eyeshadow you, know, you put on special occasions. I had them and um, I chose to uh, go to my New Year's boot store and they were telling me about these eye eyeliners <laughs> and eyeshadows and things. But we didn't buy any. We went home and my mum got me um, some of hers and they were these two. The first one is number seven, Stay Perfect Metallic Eye Pencil. And um, it's basically like this. And it's kind of like a marine aquary colour. And then it's just got a little blender at the end that I really used. And uh, this was the uh, first thing I started using. And people say I had like blue eyeshadow on. This is actually green eyeshadow. So um, this is actually blue, which was the other one. It's a waterproof bonjour Paris. And it's a... Uh, another eyeshadow of course and it's just like a really dark kind of purpley blue and i didn't really use this one it was mostly this one and so this is what i look like with the blue eyeshadow on and um, it's a weird angle on him but uh yeah that was this one and yeah i think i look quite nice and there's another one over here my eyes closed and i actually really like this but people had a go at me so I stopped. I didn't really blend it in either, so it was really, really dark and really, really noticeable. And I remember my English teacher telling me off for having it on. And I kept it on anyway. <laughs> anyway. But by the end of the week, I turned to a new eyeshadow that I got for Christmas 2014 in my stocking. And you may recognise them. And this is for from the body shop. And they're just little cubes and... I had an obsession of wearing, oh, I can't remember which one, I think it was these three all together and I used to put that one on, then that one, and that one I think, or maybe it was just these two, or maybe it was those two, but this one is um, silver grey and then that one, that's silver grey, that one's mint green and, and then that one's pure tur turquoise and this one's forest green which I really used, but I went to these which are a more paler and subtle shade and they were really nice and I still like them now. Then I decided to take a break from blues so I stopped wearing these and mind you this went through about till I said I started in January, um, February-ish. I think I ended in about April, May-ish so about four or five months I lasted for and then I went to browns. Um, People did say to start wearing browns instead of blues and greens because they didn't like how bright it was and people were like, oh, you need to wear normal colours. So I decided not to be unique and went with brown. And I went with this Barry M coal pencil, I think it is, and it can be used as like liner, kind of, and just looks like this, the lid. It's just a weird brown, weird brown. <laughs> it's basically a normal brown. And... Um, I went with this and I basically put this all over my lids and <laughs> I think I blended it in a little bit as well. I think I wore this for about a month and a half, so I think it was around mid-June, I had to think what was after me then, <laughs> but um, and then I realised 
I went in the bathroom in school, saw myself in the mirror, I was like, my eyes look dead, I look dead, so I stopped wearing it. I'm not sure which order these go in, I don't know if I wore this one first or this one or the other way around, but I'm just gonna go with this one first. And it's Estee Lauder, um, a compact disc, and it's got 41 Sun and 24 Henna, and I basically, I think, I added these together, I put that one as a base and then that one as the actual colour. On my eyelids, and this little mirror as well. Um, I wore that until, I, thought, I think I wore that during the summer holidays. Yeah, because I remember discovering this in the Easter holidays. And um, I really liked this, but then I looked at myself in the mirror and was like, you can't notice it anyway. And it makes me look teeny bit dead so I quit then with that one and moved on to this one. I wore this one for about a week and a half um, I think during the summer holidays near the end I think yeah um, not too good basically it made me look dead again <laughs> not this one I mostly wore like these I think I think I mostly wore those two which is far too dark I think One's called Stone Violet, one's called Pink Chocolate, one's called Strawberry Fudge, and one's called Chocolate Chip. Um, I think that's Stone Violet, that one's Chocolate Chip and so on. But yeah, it's a Clinique compact thing. And I quite like these, but I think it's because I didn't, I didn't wear foundation and it just like, no. <laughs> so that was the end of those. Then I moved on to this one, which I started wearing during... October half term and it is an Estee Lauder one. I've literally just had to stop loads of clips because I kept hiccuping but now they're gone I think. Um, so I so I wore these three colours mainly. I wore this one's base, then that one, then this one. Yeah <laughs> and then that's just the green one. I think this one's called... that one's called Silver Ice. That one's called something else, doesn't say. And then this, one, I think that's called Bold Yucks Duo, I think. And that one's called Pistachio. So, yeah, I just wore those during this, um, half term and I quite liked them. And then uh, I stopped wearing them for some weird reason. And I didn't wear eyeshadow again. I know it's bad, but I get so annoyed in my eyes because all the time. 24-7 my eyes water whether it's I don't know I think the wind helps like cools them down but artificial light warmth makes my eyes water um, sometimes the wind does actually make my eyes water I think makeup makes my eyes water I always get eyelashes or eye zits around there from makeup and all um, I get fluff in them I get everything in them I have no idea why my eyelashes aren't extremely small or anything so I don't know that's a mystery to me. I now only wear eyeshadows at special occasions like New Year's Eve I remember wearing them and I just noticed something I forgot to show you and it are these and you know how obsessed I am with the 100 and here they are I've got them <laughs> I don't know why so I've got 100 I think it goes one I think it goes one two and then three but then so so excited to read them so i'm happy season three is coming out on 24th so that everyone is my eyeshadow story so far um now i've just made mascara on my eyes and that's the only thing i have on them so thanks for watching guys like comment, subscribe and see you next time with another video bye